the last time that I was here doing something other than an intro, I said, what do you guys, you know, want to talk about a little bit? And so I heard things like, well, sometimes I'm out of the office. So when I go out of the office, I want my phone to ring on my cell phone. And the reason for that is because I'm out of the office a lot, and it would be much better for me to answer the phone than take a voicemail, have it call me, send me an email, that kind of thing. That's the way I'd prefer to do business. Well, in fact, we can do that. Okay. Mark can attest to that. Mark does that on his system. That's the way he prefers to be, is right there when that person calls, pick up the phone, catch him blind, whatever it is. Doesn't matter. He's on it. Okay. Similar patterns are to take it to voicemail and say, well, wait a minute. Let me listen to what the request is. The benefit of that is now I can kind of figure out, well, is it the kind of thing I need to respond to right now? Or is it the kind of thing that says, yeah, I can call him back in an hour. It's fine. I'll finish what I'm doing right now. Okay? So you can kind of gauge that. Okay? Another thing we talked about was VPNs. And the VPN, that application says, well, we have an office here, but we have one in Tennessee. And it would be very convenient if we're not paying long distance charges to make those calls, but rather dialing three digits, boom, right to Joe. So anytime anybody wants to call Joe, you just ride over to Sean's house, okay, slide up the phone, and Joe has an extension right on their system. We can do that, it doesn't matter where it is, we can do that anywhere. I have an account that's got their PBX in Santa Ana. They have extensions in Lake Forest. They have extensions in Vista. So the VPN now connects. It makes one big device. And one of the benefits of that is that if the people in, in Lake Forest or Vista happen to be with a customer, because it's retail, the phone rings two or three times, it starts ringing at one of the other stores. Well, the beauty of that is a call doesn't go unanswered, but the client doesn't go unattended for a phone call. So you take these resources and you redistribute them dynamically. So that's one of the benefits of the VPN, which is out there to help you. Okay. <laughs> then there are SIP trunks, which I've talked about a few times. SIP trunks working in over the internet. Here they go. The beauty of that mostly is it's very easy to manage additional phone numbers. It's very portable so that if you move your business, it's very easy to move the lines. You just connect to your new service, you're up and good. Okay? It's that easy. But the other part of that is that with SIP trunks compared to, for example, a PRI. PRI would be comparable uh, in that it has 10, 12, 14, 20 outside lines. That service would cost you seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a month. SIP trunks about 130. Quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of savings. In La Salle, there's a, a place where we save them almost a thousand dollars a month by cutting out the AT&T analog lines, putting in SIP trunks. See? Pretty, pretty dramatic. Pretty dynamic. Okay. What else did I write down here? Oh, yes, hosted. Some of you have hosted. Somewhere, some of you in the room have hosted phones. What does that mean? <coughs> it means there's this little gal that brings a phone whenever it rings. No. Okay, that's not what it means. What it means is rather than having a PBX on your property, it's in the cloud. Okay? And in doing that, if you're just getting started and you have no upfront funding to put that kind of resource out there, then to say, here, let me buy a phone, and I'll pay you know, 15 to $30 a month, and then that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And, well, as you can see, every time you add a phone, you've added some more reoccurring costs. So in a startup solution, in a small business, those costs are probably a good way to go. In the long term, <coughs> paying for the equipment when you have many phones is the better way to go because now you've taken that one fixed number of 130 bucks and you've amortized it over 20 or 30, 40, 50 phones, doesn't matter. Well, it's substantially less money than paying 20, 25 dollars per phone. What else did I write down here? 
Oh yeah, good old analog lines. And I'm like, yeah, you gotta talk about analog lines. Analog lines were like, okay, when when the horses were fewer and the cars were more, okay, <laughs> yeah, about then, that's when analog lines started coming down that same road, and they were up on that pole up there somewhere, and then they got dropped into a house and so on. Well, one of the problems with those guys is the same lines, okay, the horses didn't live very long and the cars were long gone, okay, but those lines are still up there on the poles, and there they go, okay, and the maintenance schedule on that is when it's broken, we'll fix it. In the meantime, tough luck. How long does it take to fix? Well, you know, it depends on where it's broke. So the reliability of that has diminished over time. So it's they're really not a very practical solution anymore, but it is part of the things that we do you know, in the PBX world, in the phone system world. Okay, so how am I doing for questions, Capitan? I have all the time in the world. Whoa. And that's how it goes? That's what we're doing next? Six minutes and 20 seconds. Six, oh, <laughs> six minutes and 20 seconds? Why, I must have four. I must have two, spe <coughs> two, two speakers. Two speakers. Two speakers for one. Huh? Stand there. And don't move, yeah. don't move, on, but, but, but it's a form of communication. Jazz hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could you now? Are you, wow. doing, are, you, are you doing all the smart stuff uh, with the homes and all that and integrating like the phones or Android? Yeah, actually, I've done several homes, and one of the biggest reasons to have phone system in a large home is you know who's at the door because you answered it on the phone. You can see what's going on, hear who that person is. If you don't recognize the voice, you may not want to allow them in. You can also open the front door or open the front gate, depending upon you know, whether or not Bruce put a gate out there to keep them out. Okay. There you go. So that's one of the factors. The other factor is, as you get an upstairs, downstairs, and you're three, three, five, four, five, six, seven thousand, eight thousand square feet of house, where'd they go? <laughs> hey, Jim, call me on the kitchen. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, because I don't know where he went. Well, you know, we did this <laughs> old retired couple in, in uh, Long Beach, right over by the, the college. And we put a system in their house after they remodel it. And he works in the garage a lot. And he does some, some competitive shooting and that kind of thing. You know? And the fact that she could call him from the kitchen and call him in the garage was just such an exciting thing for her. So I, I don't have to walk all the way out there to that stupid garage to tell him, your lunch is ready. Did he unplug it? The, the, <laughs> and plug it? Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that to her. Just very, very nice little couple, and just you know, just it, it's they get so excited about it and something like that. But you know, there are, there's a lot of large homes that that are have, the systems. Have, though, are you able to take maybe an older system and be able to integrate the newer technology, like you know, oh, absolutely, with security in that? Yeah. No, absolutely. As far as the as far as the systems able to talk or are you making reference to when you make the word security as part of your statement what are you going with well, that what happened in my uh, place down that way so it said the guy in my last tenant uh -huh. got the car broken into he actually put in a security system that was you know tell mike to make it quick go ahead camera, and then you know the talking as well as intercom and visual right so you can see if someone's ringing the doorbell like absolutely yeah yeah yeah, there's a lot of that kind of thing available. So, that, and oftentimes it's tied to security system as well. So. Okay, so now uh, Mike took up my last minute, so I'm all done. Um, that's it. Three, two, 30 seconds left. What's your next Final question? Thought. What's your next question? If you don't like analog, how do you get faxes working with work systems? It's easy. It's easy. What you do is you call eFax and you say, eFax, here's my number, port my number over to eFax. eFax then will answer that call. Take how many seconds left? Bring it down on your desktop. Four. Okay. And open it right up and you can print it and you're done. Thank you very much. Yeah.